Let's take a quick look at configuring hunt groups and work groups. Make sure that we know the difference between a hunt group and a work group. Once you log into Shoreware Director as a system administrator, you will go to Call Control, and under Call Control, you will notice Hunt Groups. Clicking on Hunt Groups, if you have existing Hunt Groups, they will appear here. We have an Operator Group and a Sales Group. Let's click on the Operator Group and see how it's set up. The Fill in the Form capability for an Operator and a Work Group looks very similar. Let's start at the top. You're going to give it a name. It's just a Fill in the Form. Drop a name in here. Try to pick something that makes sense so when you're looking at it on the um, Quick Look screen uh, or the Hunt Group summary, it'll make sense to you. It is an extension that can be dialed. You can actually dial 110 and you will ring this operator group. You need to give it a backup extension in the event that the Hunt Group should fail for any reason. Let's go ring Donald Sutherland's phone at 804. Hunt groups can have DID numbers, so if there are a range of telephone numbers available on your incoming PRI from the phone company, you can assign one of them and directly associate this phone number with that extension. So from the outside world, they would dial this, it would directly ring this extension. DNAS is another way of accomplishing accomplishing the assignment of a DID number. Hunt groups live on switches, so go ahead and pick one of your switches and assign the hunt group to that switch. Basically, you'll need to set the call stack, the number of simultaneous phone calls to that hunt group, in this case eight, before a busy condition is generated. How do we want to ring this hunt group? The distribution pattern is top-down or simultaneous. That means when we assign the members of the work group, or the hunt group in this case, let's ring them starting at the top, one, two, three, four, five, or ring all five of them simultaneously. How many rings per member? I'm going to re ring each member of my hunt group three times, and if I get to a count that is higher than three, I will consider that no answer. So watch these two parameters because if you want to ring everybody in the group three times and you've got three members, maybe this number needs to be nine. But be aware that your caller is hearing nine rings possibly before they're answered. You can set whether you want people to um, call, call a member when that member is forwarding all calls. I would advise against it. Skip the member if he's already on the phone. I would recommend that you do do that. If the call stack is full, something that you set up here at the top of the list with eight, what do we do for the ninth caller? Well, basically here, we're going to send that caller to our main greeting. You just select um, an extension in here, hit search, it'll show you the available options. You go ahead and select main greeting. What do we do if there's no answer in this case? You know, what happens if we rang three members three times, got a total of nine now, that is no answer, so it's going to fulfill this requirement. Again, we're going to send them to the main auto attendant greeting. We can apply a schedule uh, to a hunt group, and we would do that here. So if you define a schedule, uh, go ahead and apply it. And, of course, if you have on hours, you've got to send the call someplace. If it's off hours, we need a, a destination. Down at the bottom of the hunt group, that's where we, we select members from the left side of the equation. And let's go add Gandalf. Uh, hit the Add button. And Gandalf is now a member of this hunt group. So back up here, where we selected the distribution pattern, we now have top-down or simultaneous, in which case here all of these members will be added uh, to the hunt group, and because of this check mark here, they will all be rung on an incoming call. You may want to do top-down. If it's top-down, you may want Gandalf to be the first person that is rung 
uh, want a call is directed to a hunt group. So setting up hunt groups, pretty straightforward. Don't forget to save it. If you didn't save it, it didn't happen.